26 million people in the United States are affected by asthma. Seven million of them are children. It's one of the most common diseases of childhood, in fact. And coming up in August, there is a special camp being offered to help you learn more about what you need to look out for and what resources are available to you to help combat asthma. Joining me now are Nicole Cottle and Terry O'Donnell to tell us more about this asthma camp. Ladies, thank you for getting up so early and joining us here. Let's start off with a definition. What is asthma? Well, asthma is a chronic uh, lung problem where you have bronchoconstriction as well as inflammation. And the result of that is narrowing of the airways. Now, we hear about asthma attacks. So something mm -hmm. causes this to happen in people. Yes, there are many different triggers of asthma. Um, there are environmental triggers, um, things like dust mites, uh, molds. There are uh, cockroaches, believe it or not, hmm. are a big trigger. Um, Why? Well, what do cockroaches do that trigger asthma? Um, allergens are basically proteins. So anything that has a protein to it can actually potentially be a trigger. Oh, okay. I interrupted you before you finish your list of triggers, though. <laughs> you keep going. What, what else? Um, certainly um, other things in the environment, pollens from the grasses, the trees, and the fall weeds, which is why we tend to see more of it in the spring and the fall okay. as those triggers um, are more active at that point. But other kinds of things too, uh, tobacco smoke, um, air pollution, um, emotions, stress, the, um, viruses, there are a lot of things that can trigger asthma. Now, one of the reasons you're here is we're talking about this summer camp for asthma sufferers, mm -hmm. and it sounds like a lot of those things would go on at your average summer camp. And talk to us about, about that. What is it that maybe an asthmatic kid wouldn't be able to do it at a, a regular summer camp? Yeah, so oftentimes the summer camp is set kind of in the woods near a lake, and there are a lot of those allergens there. This summer camp is not set in the woods or a lake. It's just in kind of a big open park. Those, the pollens and stuff are still present. Those are present in the everyday environment. And the hope is that the children that are going to be coming have their asthma semi-controlled, so um, it shouldn't necessarily be a problem. But we uh, will have emergency medicine on staff if okay. need be. Well, tell us more about the camp. What, what do you do there? It's not, it's not in the woods, not by a lake, so you're not going <laughs> swimming or tree climbing. So what are they going to be doing? So we're going to be running for the children, the children through obstacle courses. We're going to be doing crafts. We're going to be doing, we're making our own mucus. Um, Wait, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> we're making, we're going to make our own mucus. It's going to be really, really fun. Often in asthma, their um, mucus tends to be a lot thicker. So um, we are going to give them a visual, visual depiction of what that's really like so they can feel it and touch it and see it. And it tends to help with the coping skills of having such a chronic disease. But what age are we talking about for these kids? Six to 12. All right, so they're going to love playing with something yes. kind of icky, mucusy like that. Yes. All right. Definitely. Um, and when is the camp? The camp is August 2nd. It's from 8 to 9 is registration, and then 9 to 3, the camp is going to run. Uh, we are going to be serving lunch for the children at noon, and then the children will also take away a good goodie bag full of different asthma things that they can use in their everyday lives. Okay. The information's on the screen right now. For anybody who didn't catch that right away. For the folks who, I guess there are folks out there who might not know that their kids are mm -hmm. asthmatic and mm -hmm. would benefit from something like this. What are the warning signs? Usually the warning signs include some shortness of breath, especially after some exertion or physical activity. Um, but other kinds of things um, are wheezing, if you hear your child wheezing, although wheezing does not necessarily always happen with asthma. Cough is a very common also symptom of asthma, which a lot of people don't associate with asthma. Uh, but cough, especially at night, might be a, a symptom as well. This is one of those uh, problems, those health issues, mm -hmm. that is getting worse instead of better in the United States. Mm -hmm. Do we have an idea why? There are many, many different theories, uh, but we really don't know why. We do know that the, um, the kinds of things that do contribute to the development of asthma, um, cigarette smoking being a big one, mm -hmm. children that are around cigarette smoke, but as to why it's actually happening, we, we really don't know. And is it tough for kids who have it? to see maybe their friends out at uh, their summer camps and not be able to do some of those things? Yeah, it's really, really challenging. It's something that children tend to withdraw and they tend to stay inside or they choose not to go out and play at certain nighttime games or certain family events or friend events because they feel constricted constricted and um, confined to their home. So our hope is to show them a different outlook and that despite this chronic illness, they can have fun and have exciting things in their lives. All right. Well